Hi, I'm Steve Lazaridis and I'm here at Mondrian, London. It's a beautiful new hotel. It's funny because the South Bank, for me, going back to my early days and in another lifetime when I used to work with Banksy, in fact, the sign that's just under here that says Bankside, I think it's one of the first signs that we ever painted in London that I photographed him doing where he painted the B, the A, the N, the S, the K and the I, so he said Banksy. And we'd also done various projects along here over the years, so it, it, it was somewhere where Banksy was very active and I spent quite a lot of time down here photographing his pieces over the years, so for me it's quite a funny place. Banksy done a pop-up show. What he'd done is he painted some old Mark III Ford Escort, painted all over the windscreen as well, and I had to drive it, you know, I drove it into a set of bollards up there, and then the boot opened and we had a load of booze in there, and I put the radio on, and I just ran off, and they, that was our, that was the pop-up exhibition. Well, we're gonna be making lots of special edition prints that are only, will only be for sale through the shop here. So instead of everything being available online all the time, there's going to be, you know, print editions by some of our bigger artists that will only be available through here. So if you want to buy them, they have to come to the shop. And we're also going to start working with, you know, people that I've worked with over the years who've been very influential counterculture and things like music and fashion and to try and tie in and do some shows with them um, and just whatever takes my fancy really. I think my greatest source of inspiration is the narrow-mindedness and boring nature of the general art world. You know, they can be bothered to go out and do anything unless it involves money. And I just want to put on the greatest shows on earth. So for me, that kind of, it's an inspiration every day to see the mediocrity of what everyone else is up to. I picked Dennis Hopper just because he was still like, the man was an absolute legend. And he was, he was very, very good to us when no one knew us. So you, we did an event once and like, I turned around and Dennis Hopper was there. And then he became very friendly and he'd stop off when he came through London and check out what was going on. And he was just, you know, kind of a man that did his things his own way, but still became very successful. I quite like the rooftop bar. It's a very good space, but it's kind of, I love being by the river, so I think it's got quite a calming influence. I think the bar's gonna absolutely rock for years to come, but I, I, I do like the rooftop.